Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol W-I-S-H, which, which is actually owned by Context Logic. That's the name of the, the murder sheep or the company that actually owns Wish. Um, so again, this is like our one of the largest e-commerce platform in the world, even though um, a lot of people don't even know about them. Uh, so when you think about largest e-commerce platform, people, most people would think about Amazon or Alibaba, uh, but Wish is also right up there. And the reason why Wish doesn't have that same reputation like the, um, Amazon and Alibaba is because it's so uh, targeting mostly developed country, uh, developing countries. And so uh, they don't really have that same reputation because you can see uh, people in developing countries can order stuff off of Wish and which most of it comes from China and they'll ship it to them. I don't know about the reputation of the products that they get, but I know for sure that the company has a broader market um, for everybody around the globe. So that's what I want us to talk into this video. The, this stock, again, has been on uh, uh, talked about a lot on social media, on Twitter and in Reddit community. So uh, I want us to make sure that we cover this here so that if this thing uh, kind of go through a short squeeze, we don't miss out. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, guys, uh, Wish has been trending on Twitter and in Reddit communities for weeks now. Uh, so to the point where it's actually caught the eyes of retail investors, um, not just due to their numbers, but also because it looks like some of the retail investors are looking at and saying uh, Wish is undervalued. So Wish currently has uh, 338 million shares uh, float and 97% of that is actually held by institution and insiders. So the stock right now has about 15.7% of its shares held as short which is, you know, one of the things that um, people look at when you start looking at when a company, again, with retail investors and these Reddit communities, when a company start, they, uh, start seeing their, their stocks sh are highly shorted like that, um, people want to go in there and short squeeze it to force all these um, uh, hedge funds to actually cover their positions and by so doing drive the price of the stock up. So again, if you see on social media, a lot of people are, are talking about it and they believe that the company should be trading higher than where it is today. So for the full year of 2020, which actually reported a revenue of about 2.5 billion. That is a 34% increase year over year and said it had 107 million monthly users representing 19% growth year over year. So basically just looking at this information, you can see that the company right now, in my personal opinion, is undervalued if you can look at that because we see companies that haven't even uh, showed any profitability, um, has no reason to be trading that high. Look at stuff like Quantum Skip. Even most of the electric vehicle stocks that we have today, they don't even have any. The only thing they have right now is that they have a concept. We want to build a concept car for the future, and yet they're trading higher than a company that has um, 2.5 billion in revenue, revenue or that reports 2.5 billion in revenue. So again, from a user base, you can see that they have 550,000 uh, uh, partners, merchant partners, as you can see here um, on the screen. So here it says like, there's 500K, but they have over 550 merchant partners that uh, that's where they generate a lot of their revenue from because they charge people to post stuff on their platform and then when uh, they have people that can then go there and buy. So, um, I mean, numbers don't lie. So if you look at these numbers, unless they are inflating the numbers, I think this company um, should be trading higher than where it is trading right now. As we know, this company actually went public last year, I think December of last year. And then so the stock came out at about $22 and then kind of you know, ripped up to, uh, I think, $32 for a high back in January before turning around and pulling back as of March, April, May, the stock just pulled back to a low of $7.52. Um, 
which is kind of crazy. Um, so again, if we just take a look at the charts here, you can see right now the stock is sitting at fourteen dollars. So if you just go back when it pulled back to that seven dollars, let's just go back here six months so you can actually see. Um, so this is back in May, around May twenty six. This stock was sitting somewhere at about seven dollars and uh, seven dollars and uh, fifty something cents, which is kind of crazy. So just between May, uh, this is like June first. And right now, in June twenty fifth, the stock has doubled in value. So it's gone from seven to fourteen. That's only doubled in value. So again, people on Reddit and uh, on Twitter, these retail investors, are uh, thinking that this stock should be doing better than it is doing right now. So I get what I'm looking at this week, based on the amount of talk that this stock is getting. Uh, we should potentially see some sort of a short squeeze uh, coming out of this stock right now because, again, everybody is watching it. And you know what happens when people are watching. They're not just looking at the stock. They're picking up positions to try to make sure that the stock don't take off and leave them behind. And when more people start buying, what happens? The price of the stock goes up. Again, I talked about the fact that the stock has a, a short interest of about 15.5%. So again, that is significant. So you would see retail investors, again, this is like an army. When they find a stock like this, they can go after it and push the stock, the, the, the price of the stock to the point where, um, you know, anybody that was shorting the stock would want to throw the white flag and run. And you don't just throw the white flag, but you have to cover it. When you cover, it makes sure the price of the stock keeps going up because you're buying to cover your short position which is um, a good thing for people that uh, can get in early. So again, guys, here is my strategy for the week. I'm going to I'm gonna get up uh, early Monday morning, uh, early. And uh, right now, I was going to do th two things. I was going to buy some call options, but I cannot trade options at that at early in the morning because you can't trade options that time. Options, you can only trade them during regular market hours. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get up in the morning. I'm going to pick up some some shares. Um, again, I, I use my stop loss because I don't want this thing to pull back massively and I'm holding it um, because, I mean, I don't want to be in that situation. So I'm going to use uh, a stop loss just to protect myself. And then as soon as the market opens, so I'm going to buy some call options, um, just hold it um, and see. Maybe expiration, there will be like July 16 or July 20, somewhere it within that range and see how it goes. And if I see like things don't want to go my way, I'm going to cut my losses as soon as possible and leave. I know people are going to say, hey, let's, let's build the army, like hold in and be in there. That's cool. Um, I'm going to hold a little bit, but for uh, for me holding a massive position is just risking my liquidity because I want to be using that that, that cash to be trading um, other stocks as well. So I'm going to put some, some in there. I can hold that uh, for a while. But I'm not going to take all my liquidity and just put it in there because, again, like I said, I need that liquidity for uh, trading. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Again, just a recap here, which is one of the stocks that has been talked about uh, massively on social media, so Twitter and in Reddit communities. Um, most uh, retail investors are looking at the stock and thinking the stock is undervalued and uh, the fact that they have uh, a short interest of about 15.5%. Uh, they think that there's an opportunity here to short squeeze this particular stock. So uh, I'm going to be watching it this week and see where it goes from there. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Are you going to be trading Wish? Are you watching it? Do you have it on your watch list? If yes, again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are new to the channel, guys, uh, don't hesitate to click the link in the description to join our Discord community where we talk about trading and exchange ideas and send alerts and watch lists um, for the week. So definitely um, join that. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.